Hi there, this is Patricia Fenty and today I'm going to show you how to crochet this beautiful scarf. And there are six different rows, six different patterns for each row and then you just repeat it one more time. And there's some fun stitches in here. This is a front post double crochet and that raises the stitches, what gives it a nice texture stitch. So it's a lot of fun. So come along with me on this creative journey to make this beautiful scarf. And here's a little sneak peek of how it looks when it's all crocheted up and I'm wearing it. And now the, the supplies that you'll need um, is some yarn and I'm using the Red Heart Unforgettable. And the color is 3956 Polo. And this is a number four medium acrylic yarn. It's not a worsted yarn, just a regular medium yarn. Now they recommend using a six millimeter crochet hook uh, or a J10. I'm going to use a five millimeter crochet hook because I tend to crochet quite loose, but it's up to you. What you're looking for is a gauge of 16 stitches equaling four inches. So you can use whatever size hook will give you that gauge. The scarf will be 60 inches in length. And if you need to adjust it, the pattern repeat is eight stitches. So you can either add eight stitches or subtract eight stitches to get the length that you would like. Now I will say that this yarn, while I love it, it's a beautiful yarn, I love the texture, it does tangle quite easily. So if you have to unravel any stitching, this can be a little hard to do. So I just wanted to give a bit of forewarning about this, but I love the color and the texture. So you're gonna need some stitch markers and some scissors and a darning needle. So let's get started. Now our first row is going to be a row of foundation double crochets. So you start with a slip knot, put your hook through the knot, and you'll start with a chain four. And this counts as your first double crochet when you're counting your stitches. So then, you, as if you're going to do a double crochet, you're going to go into that first chain one, you're going under the two legs, bring your yarn through, and then do a chain one. That's your first chain one. Then you complete your double crochet. So essentially, you're doing a chain one and a double crochet at the same time. So yarn over and go into that chain one that you just created and going under two legs and bring your yarn through and do a chain one. And if you like, you can hold on to that chain because it can be a little bit tricky to find and then just complete your double crochet. Yarn over, now go into that chain one that you just created, picking up the two legs, bring your yarn through, do a chain one and complete your double crochet. Yarn over, go under the two legs of that chain one from the previous stitch, bring your yarn through, do a chain one Again, you can hold that chain one if you like and finish your double crochet. I'll do one more. Yarn over under two legs of that chain one from the previous stitch. Bring your yarn through, do a chain one, and then complete your double crochet. If you ever lose your place, if you turn your work over, there will be these definite V, stitch, v stitches at the bottom. And what you will look for is the last V stitch, the last obvious V stitch. And the rest you'll see is the double crochet. 
So if you ever get lost, that's how you can find your, your place again. So that's how you do a foundation double crochet. So you're going to do 240 of these. And remember that first chain four is counts as a double crochet. So you can use stitch markers to keep track as you go. So go ahead and do 240 of those. If you need to wind back to watch this again, you can do so. Otherwise, we will see you at the end. All right, here we go. So 240 stitches and 60 inches. So it'll actually stretch out to about 64 inches because this is a pretty flexible stitch. So there we go, that's the first row. So now we're going to go into this, onto the second row. I'll just zoom in closer here. And you can take this marker out now. And then you're just going to turn your work and chain three. And that counts as a first double crochet. And we're going to do a V stitch. So now you'll chain one and then you'll do a double crochet right into that very first stitch. And this is creating sort of like a half a V stitch. And then you're going to skip three stitches, one, two, three, and into the fourth stitch, you're going to do a double crochet. And then chain three, and then do another double crochet back into that same stitch. And this is creating a V stitch. And then you skip three stitches and then into the fourth stitch, you'll do another double crochet, chain three, and another double crochet into that same stitch. And you're just gonna do this all the way along. So I'll do another one. So skip three stitches and into the fourth stitch, you'll do a double crochet chain three and then another double crochet and there you go so there's your v-stitch so go ahead and do that all the way across and we'll see you on the other side welcome back and here we are at the other end and I ran into a little boo-boo. Even though I counted my foundation row three times, turns out there are only 238 stitches, not 240. So as I come to the end, I end up with my fourth stitch here and then I'm short two stitches. Now I am of the school of flossum, meaning to embrace my flaws and still know that I am awesome. So I'm not going to undo all of this. I am just going to correct the mistake. What I'm going to do, I'm going to unravel and go back a ways here. And rather than skipping three stitches back here, I'm gonna skip two stitches. So I'll do one here and then maybe here, I'll just skip two stitches and then that will leave me with four stitches at the end of the row. If you don't believe in flossum, and you can by all means unravel <laughs> and do it all over again, if, you know, if you're more of a perfectionist, but I'm not, I'm just going to fix it in the way I just explained. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So I backed up here and I did two, I skipped two stitches there and skipped two there and you can't even see. So if you run into the same problem, you can just do it that way. You don't have to do everything all over again. So now we're at the end. So I have my four stitches. So I'm gonna skip three. So into the top of the fourth stitch, the last stitch, I'm going to do a double crochet 
and we're going to do this half V stitch. So now you just chain one and then do another double crochet into that same stitch. And that completes that row. Now you're going to turn your work and we're going to start row three. For the next row, we're going to chain three and then you're going to do three double crochets into that first chain one space, into that half V stitch. And you're creating sort of like a little mini shell here. And then Oops, I'm going to put my yarn over on the other side here. There we go. So now you're going to chain one and then skip the next V stitch. And then you're going to do a seven double crochet shell into the next V stitch. So seven double crochets into the second V stitch, and this will create a seven double crochet shell. And that's six and seven. Chain one, skip one V stitch and do seven double crochets into the next V stitch. And you're going to do this all the way along. Oopsie. And you'll go all the way to the end, creating these seven double crochet shells. That's five. and seven and then chain one and repeat there so again you'll skip one v stitch and do your shell in the next v stitch and do that all the way along so we'll see you at the other end okay so here we are at the end of the row and if everything has worked out well you'll have one full v stitch left and then your half V stitch there. So chain one and skip that V stitch and do just three double crochets in this last half V stitch. And then you're going to finish this row by doing a double crochet into the third chain of that your beginning chain three from the previous row, picking up two legs and do a double crochet. And there you go. And then just turn your work and we'll start on row four. Now here, I'm doing a chain two, but just do a chain one. I changed my mind. So <laughs> do a chain one, and then you're going to do a half double crochet in the top of that, that double crochet, that last double crochet of the previous row. So half double crochet. So yarn over and go through all three loops. And now we're going to do a front post double crochet. So you're going to do the double crochet in behind the post of the previous row. And you bring your yarn over, you bring your yarn behind that post and then complete your double crochet. So we'll do that again. So yarn over as if you're doing a double crochet, but put your hook in behind 
that double crochet post from the previous row, yarn over, bring your yarn through underneath that post and finish your double crochet. Oops. Uh oh, I lost everything. I'll have to do that again. And this can be a little awkward at first, but after you've done a few, you get the hang of it. So you're going to repeat that on the last double crochet of this shell. So bringing the double crochet underneath that double crochet of the previous row. And now you'll do a double crochet into that chain one space. And then you're going to do this front double crochet underneath the next double crochet and you'll do this all the way along underneath all of the double crochets of this seven shell seven double crochet shell so going underneath just like that and there you go and they call this a front post double crochet, even though you're going in through the back because it raises that post from the previous row to the front. That's why it's called a front post double crochet. So here I'm doing number six and you'll get the hang of this pretty quickly. And then going under the last one and then do just a double crochet in the chain one space. And you're going to repeat that all the way across. And what this does, it creates a really nice little raised pattern on the other side. It's a little hard to see because of these colors, but you'll see as you work along how nice this stitch is going to look. So go ahead. Um, so you're doing your stitch underneath each post along the shells for seven and then a double crochet into the chain one space. So seven and a double crochet. So carry on and we'll see you at the end. Welcome back. Here we are at the end of the row. The end of row four. So I'll do my double crochet into the chain one space and then do the front post double crochet underneath these last three double crochets of the cluster. And one more. This yarn is a little dark, so it's a little bit hard to see. Hopefully you're able to see everything well enough. And now into the top of this chain three from the previous row, you're going to do a half double crochet into that um, third chain of the that beginning chain three from the previous row. Just like that and and that's it. Then you're going to turn your work. And now we'll start row five. You can see what a beautiful pattern that has created. So for row five, you're going to chain three, and then you're going to do a double crochet into that very first stitch after your chain three. going under both legs and do a double crochet and chain one, skip a stitch and do a double crochet in the next stitch. Chain one, skip a stitch and do a double crochet in the next stitch. And chain one, skip a stitch and do a double crochet in the next stitch. And this is a really quick and easy row to do. Chain one. Again, the colors here are kind of dark, but 
I think you can see well enough what I'm doing here. So skip a stitch and a double crochet. And so you're going to do that all the way along until you get to the end. And it's just a simple pattern. So go ahead and we'll see you on the other side. All right, here we are. So we're at the end of this row. So ideally, this double crochet would land actually on the very end stitch. Um, I didn't, and so I have an extra stitch here. So um, you can just do, so I'm just doing a double crochet here and then a double crochet in the next stitch. But what you could do is just do two double crochets in the last stitch. And so I'm just going to do the double crochet in the last stitch. So yeah, you'll either have one double crochet in this last stitch or two double crochets in the last stitch. So, because what you want is two double crochets at the end. So now you're going to turn your work. And now we'll do row six of this pattern repeat. So for this row, you're going to chain two. And then you're going to do a half double crochet into the end of that last double crochet. So half double crochet. And now we're going to do a front post half double crochet. So same thing as before, but this time you're just doing a half double crochet. There we go. And then you're going to do a half double crochet into the chain one space. And then a front post half double crochet underneath that post of the double crochet from the previous row. So half double crochet into the chain one space and a front post half double crochet underneath that post of the previous row. And again, a half double crochet in the chain one space and another half double crochet, a front post half double crochet there. And you're going to do that all the way along. So there you go. And what this does is it creates this really cute pattern, which you can't really see because the colors are the same, but you'll see that um, as you begin to work along. So do that all the way along and I'll see you at the end. Welcome back. So here we are at the end of this row. So do the front post half double crochet and then a double crochet in the chain one space. And then you'll do the front post half double crochet in the second double crochet from the end. And then you'll do a half double crochet into the top of the third chain of that beginning chain uh, three from the previous row. And going under two legs, you're going to do a half double crochet to finish this row. And that completes that row. And that also completes the pattern repeat. So you can see how pretty that looks. Isn't that nice? So now you're going to do a row of double crochet. I'm just going to move my yarn over here and this will be um, like your first row of your foundation double crochet, but this is just a regular double crochet. So chain three and then do a double crochet into that first stitch and then a double crochet into the next stitch. And you're just going to do double crochets into the top of each stitch all the way along. 
so this is the beginning of the pattern repeat. So this is like row one. There's same as that row there. So you'll repeat rows one through six again. Um, if you wanted just a long narrow scarf, you could actually just do this as your last row. Uh, and I think it would be really cute to have this as a long narrow scarf. But I'm going to repeat it once more. So rows one through six again. And uh, you could repeat it as many times as you like. You could do a third repeat. And then what you're going to do is when you're done, you're going to do one more row of the double crochet. You're going to finish off with a row of double crochet. So carry on and do as many repeats as you like. And I will come back and reveal my a scarf when it's all done. So we'll see you when it's done. Here we are at the end and doesn't this look gorgeous? I just really loved making this one. Um, it ended up being 62 inches in length by uh, five and a half inches. That was my finished width. And of course, once you come to the end of your last row of double crochet, you just want to cast off and darn in your ends and any other ends you may have. So this was two full pattern repeats plus finishing with the double crochet edge. And I really like this width. Of course, you could go wider if you like, do another pattern repeat, and then you could make it a shorter scarf as well. And just reminding you that the pattern repeat is eight stitches. So you would have to subtract by a multiple of eight stitches if you were going to make it a shorter scarf. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. This was so much fun. I just love how this yarn crocheted up. It's just so beautiful. So please give this a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any fun videos. Thank you for joining me.